Bad Boy, Tito Ortiz, and John Jones. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he'll keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most... Oh! Oh! Wow! Beautiful diamond strike lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. And they separate. All right, single collar time now. Ortiz gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Tito. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. Beautiful take down the lane. Just over two minutes, round one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Attack an arm bar. Nicely done. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Tito. 